If all goes as planned, the first Americans will land and explore a portion of this area. Astronauts Neil A. Armstrong, Edwin E. Aldrin, and Michael Collins, the three men who will make the next and most historic round trip to the moon. Well, I was a fighter pilot for a number of years at various uh, bases at, in California and overseas in France and in Germany. And then I went to the test pilot school at Edwards, uh, and I was a test pilot there for a couple of years and went back again to the, uh, what, what was then called the Aerospace Research Pilot Course, and then following that came to work for NASA. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot, will fly with Armstrong to touch down on the moon. I attended uh, public uh, schools in my hometown of Montclair, New Jersey. Uh, received an appointment to the United States Military Academy at West Point. Uh, I was commissioned in the Air Force, flew in the Korean War for about six months, sent over to Germany flying F-100 aircraft. In 1959, applied for admission into uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology to study uh, astronautics in greater depth, leading toward a Doctor of Science degree. Command pilot for this first landing, astronaut Neil Armstrong. It will be Armstrong who steps cautiously out onto the moon for the first time. I think even more, more important than the answers that we'll be able to find, the answers about the origin of our solar system and the answers about how we can most practically exploit this new knowledge will be the fact that we'll get a whole bunch of new questions that we've never before even thought to ask. And this will be the, the challenge to the next generation. 